Hello everybody, welcome to my test. Um, this is a flawed test um, between the Alexa Mini in MXF uh, or RER RAW mode versus the Sony F65 versus the Ursa Mini Pro versus the Red Helium versus the Red Dragon. First up, I'd like to note that I own the Sony F65 and the um, Ursa Mini Pro camera, so of course I'm biased towards that. Um, this test is flawed, obviously, because well, I'm photographing myself, which was stupid because it's hard to get in focus. I also made no notes about focal length, distance from camera, any of that really important stuff. So, and also I switched my shirt constantly. Um, I was very lazy and I couldn't find the original shirt. I didn't even look at screen grabs. It's just this is very sloppy. And then I took it outside on the streets, um, and I didn't even have a plan to shoot the same thing. Um, also, I shot everything. I think I shot this over the course of like a month or so. Then when I'm coloring it, it's flawed as well. I uh, didn't use a color chart, and I'm <laughs> using, it's so dorky, man, whatever. I'm using, uh, what you call it, film convert. I'm using their profiles for everything, and I'm all over the place with contrast and stuff. So this is test is a complete mess. Um, but uh, I guess a few things to note, which I think are cool, is um, I shot everything as high resolution as you could on each camera. Um, I didn't shoot any resolution charts, but I think you can see that certain cameras, even though they happen to be 8K or 6K or God knows what, all kind of look the same. Um, I guess you could argue that they don't once you go bigger uh, for what you want to call it, you know, 4K visual effects work. But my work is primarily um, lands on TV or on the internet, which is very compressed 1080p anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, ISO was interesting on every camera. Um, Alexa Mini, extremely clean. I think the F65 was uh, clean as well. It has less details in the shadows, it looks like. Uh, the the roll-off on the Alexa Mini is really pretty. I shot on the F65 at, um, with the mechanical shutter, which was cool. Ursa Mini, 800 ASA going any above that. It introduces some uh, wacky noise. It looks very video. Um, I shot on the Dragon um, with 60 millimeter glass, and the noise is much more filmic. It feels more grainy. I really, really was digging it. Oh, on the Helium and on the Dragon, I'm shooting with a low light optimized filter. Um, and what else? I, the Alexa Mini stuff, I shot with Glimmer Glass one on. Um, and I can't remember if I shot the other ones on Glimmer Glass or anything. So that was dumb. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the strength of the test is that it's free, so that's good. But everything else about it is, I don't know, I think you should, I guess my point is, is when you look at a test on the internet, you should take everything with a grain of salt. I think the biggest issue is if the DP or whoever's shooting the test owns any of the glass, you know, they're gonna work extra hard to make it look good. Um, and you know, their biases get in the way. I guess it's true of everybody, even scientists have your biases and affects how you look at data and stuff and just you know all tests have their issues I guess the majority of tests are more scientific than this one so um, you probably have to be less careful with other tests but yeah I mean even like really smart people or DPs you respect like you still got to test this stuff you can't just like be like you know oh it's the Alexa it's got a great name I'm gonna shoot with it or the red, when the red came out, it had a great name. I think, unfortunately, its name is kind of, I don't know, I shouldn't talk about that, but I don't know why people have uh, hatred towards the red. I think it's an interesting look. Um, it's, uh, the Alexa is pretty nice camera, but the red's got some good stuff too. Anyway, I gotta go, I gotta get some uh, lunch. All right, bye. All right, bye.